roads in the Panhandle area that will carry fleets of trucks along with goods all across the U.S. and Canada. TxDOT officials are looking for some public input, including already seeing some expansion and renovation of some two-lane roads through the Panhandle area. Part of this plan uh, has identified the stretch from Dumas to Hartley on US, two, on US 87 as a roadway that in the future should be a four-lane highway. At this point, we are turning that two-lane highway into a Super 2, which means it will have intermittent uh, lanes for you to pass. Also, we're doing the same thing from, on US 54 from Dalhart to the Sherman County line. As members of the Port to Plains Alliance, the Panhandle Regional Planning Commission is strongly in favor of completing the corridor for a myriad of reasons. The main point of points for Ports to Plains is that we have economic viability in the region whether that's transporting goods uh, through the region, across the region, into the region, we want to be a part of the way that America moves goods. Um, we've done it with the rail, we've done it with highways, we've done it with everything over the last hundred years, and we want to continue. The state is still reeling from the last set of budget cuts, and money is a factor. But highway projects are also mainly funded by federal and state gas taxes. That is an issue that the legislature uh, would have to address. We take the money that comes in, and we put it to the best use that we can. Steve Myers, Pro News 7.